Hello and welcome. By tuning in today, you've been initiated into the secret society of fly tires. The first secret society with free open enrollment and a podcast dedicated to the many mysteries and misconceptions about making fake bugs to throw into bodies of water in hopes of tricking fish into eating them, thus allowing me to mess around with them for a minute and take their picture. In some cases, the fish eating the fake food I prepared might lead to me actually eating them in a totally delicious, not fake food scenario. The nerdiest version of the old switcheroo that can possibly occur in nature. None of the above happens very often for me because I rarely catch fish due to my own personal skill and tendency to get distracted, but there you have it. My name is Matt. I'm a father, a husband, a fly tire, an angler, and a failed musician. I only mention the failed musician part because that's kind of what got me into fly fishing and fly tying in general. I enjoyed fishing on occasion growing up, but when my stupid little brother and musical partner moved away to Seattle, I put down the guitar for a while and dove into fly fishing as my new thing to obsess over. For a lot of us, fly fishing leads to fly tying, and that's what I'm going to focus on mostly with this podcast. Let me be transparent and say that I am by no means a professional fly tire. I feel okay about the dozen or so patterns I've picked up over the years and caught fish with, and I spend way too much money on feathers, fur, and flashy stuff. Here's a short list of things fly tying has brought me. A greater appreciation for fish and fishing. A greater sense of accomplishment and satisfaction when I catch a fish on my own fly. A greater understanding of what my fly is trying to imitate and why fish will eat it. It's something to do when I can't actually be in the river. It's another fun step in the preparation for a trip. It's a puzzle and a creative outlet, and it's a meditative experience that has helped me with my own anxiety and depression issues. I hope to pass those same benefits on to whoever ends up hearing these podcasts, and I hope to meet cool people who love the niche within a niche that is fly tying along the way. I'll introduce those people to you, and we'll all learn something. Together, together, forever, forever. Forever. I'll dig into the history of certain fly patterns, talk to fly shops, farms, anglers, guides, tool makers, and more. Fly recipes, links to videos, and other relevant links will be shared in the show notes of every episode. I'm sure I'll talk mostly about fly tying, but I like to stay up late and read about weird stuff too, okay? Sometimes really weird stuff. Maybe I'll talk to someone about fishing the creepy Russian river that flows near Bohemian Grove in Northern California. Every self-respecting steelheader has a Bigfoot story, right? I guess my real plan is to charm my guests and listeners by having a nice educational conversation about fly tying, and then fool them into giving up their tightly held secrets and stories. It might feel like there are a lot of secrets, even outright lies in fishing, and that is true. Fishermen might have invented lying. Maybe I'm lying about that. Anyways, we'll share secrets amongst each other here in the Secret Society of Fly Tires.